everyone and welcome to How Inez Rolls. I was just out and about running some little errands and I thought I'd stop by the Dollar Tree. Do you wanna see what I got? And do you wanna see what I do with it? What's most important is that I got stuff for what I was planning and I found everything there. So I got, I don't know if you can see, it's like a little wreath. So I'm gonna be making a wreath. So I got this and they had some great greens. So they had these like fern type greens and then kind of like these grass like greens. So I had some inspiration. So I thought I could make like maybe some wreath type stuff with it. And then I got some, some light green raffia ribbon to tie it. Yeah, so we're gonna try to make something with that. And then I thought it would be super cute because these little flowers are fairly realistic. I mean, I, I think they look fairly realistic. And I thought I could just put some splashes of color. So um, let me show you what my vision is. <laughs> this is my pantry door. I had that beautiful sign made and I am thinking I need to move this calendar. It serves a purpose for our family. It just, to me, it looks a little bit like an eyesore. So, I thought I could make a nice little wreath for this door. Even Ezra got something from the dollar store. What'd you get? A uh, glow sticks. Some glow sticks. There's like 20 of them in here. And what do we use them for? Bathtub. So he's been loving getting into the bathtub. I'll just turn off the lights and I'm close by. I'm right there. But we, we open up like maybe five or six of them and throw in the water. And he loves it, right? So fun, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think everybody should do that with their with their kids or their yeah. grandkids? That'd be so fun, huh? Mm -hmm. I also got something most important for sustenance. First things first is I need to take these apart. So they've been pretty easy to take apart. So you just yank the bottoms. And of course I hear all these little because they're coming apart. So I'm, and then I'm putting them into piles. So I want to make sure I have them separated so I can integrate them uh, ra rhythmically, no, randomly, but with a strategy. <laughs> so I have that. I gotta just take that sticker off. And um, same thing with the ferns. They'll just come right off if I can't do them all at once and I just pull them. So you can, I'll show you all my little piles. As for the flowers, they just need to be snipped at the bottom. So if you have uh, wire cutters, that would go right through it. So I, I have some in the garage, but I'm not really wanting to go and look for them. So I'm just taking my regular scissors and cutting the plastic just kind of a little bit, and then you're just gonna push it back and forth. Totally easy. Got my piles ready. So now I know what I have and what I'm gonna try to accomplish is right there. So I'm just taking bunches of the leaves and tying them with a piece of ribbon to the frame. And then I'm just staggering between ferns and the green grassy leaves. I also flip it over to tie it in a knot in the back. It's pretty easy. So now after I've layered as many of the, the leaves around, I'm just putting the flowers where they connect or maybe covering up some of the, um, the ribbon that you could see. And then I turn it over and kind of maneuver it in so it will stay in place. It wasn't as easy as I thought it would be, but it still looks really nice. Do you guys wanna see it? I'm all done. So let me show you, hold on. Ta-da! 
I'm just kidding. I, this is the back. So you can see back here, it's just kind of a chaotic mess. So I do, what I did is just try to tie things together and loop them through. Now, had I, this is the first time I've worked with a wire wreath, so it needed more flowers. So I had to go back to the dollar store, which is pretty close to my house, and just pick up a few more branches. So I was able to fill in the hole. So now had I done the wreath that looks like the wooden ones that I like, the ones that I use for my front door, I would have totally had enough by now. So, or before I had to go, you know what I mean? So I will show you, cause I'm gonna put it on my door. And here it is. So I'm looking at it for the first time through a camera and I can kind of see it's a little fuller down and here in the bottom. No, but I'll fix that. But I'm happy. I mean, it looks like a big fat wreath that looks nice and full and puts color on the door. Better than the eyesore that was already there. So there's the sign and there's the wreath. Yay! Thanks for visiting my channel and I think it's gonna look great there. So I spent da, 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 $14 and that included the ribbon to tie in the back to keep them all secure. I say secure loosely, <laughs> but I think it looks great and it's a great addition of color into my kitchen and it's for spring too. So just trying to get the hot house a little tidy up for the graduation party where we're expecting some people coming over. So thanks. So thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and stick around. You never know what I'll be rolling out next.